Donor pressure is up again on a matter that was slowly fading away from the public eye, the free primary education scandal. Just yesterday, the Education Permanent Secretary assured that the program was not in jeopardy for the next six months. But donors apparently have not taken this kindly, perhaps interpreting it as an excuse for inaction. We're not going to be able to resume payments into that program unless um, the uh, audit is carried out very <coughs> clearly and transparent. The U.S. Undersecretary for Democracy and Global Affairs, Maria Otero, while expressing the U.S. President's message, said the $7 million his government intended for the Ministry of Education would not be released. Training for the staff of the ministry will stop until we are able to have the full accounting of how those resources have been used and until we can clarify if there was any corruption or fraud related to this money. But that grandstanding from the international community is clearly not a cup of tea for the government. This person is true on a scale of Zungu, Guinea, and they are withdrawing. Next only 5%. Mutua claims the U.S. government had not even declared its intention to give Kenya those funds and finds it inappropriate that the ambassador went ahead to announce the freeze. But according to the British High Commissioner, the international community only means well for Kenya. The government has insisted that only 91 million shillings and not 100 million shillings was stolen, and most of it was meant for the free secondary education programs. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.